All right. Curious cats. I am curious. Ali cat. Welcome to my channel. Uh, so I am going to be talking about um, men getting abused, and it's something I've been meaning to talk about for a while. Uh, my channel, I talk, I talk about um, narcissistic abuse anyway. Um, see, because I started writing about it a little bit on an Instagram page that I started ages ago, because I realised that I myself have experienced narcissistic abuse and then I started studying it more and more psychology of human behavior animal behavior I'm fascinated in all those things so this channel I talk about narcissistic abuse narcissistic personality disorder and all of that stuff I also talk about stuff like autism ADHD dyslexia dyslaps, dys blah, 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 dyspraxia uh, and I'm going to be talking about more stuff t regarding all those things. I also talk about stuff like tarot cards, astral projection, astral travel, multi-dimensions, parallel universe. I sometimes show things like food. So stick around, take a look and um, yeah. Uh, also, I will say on any of these topics and the topic I am talking about today is um, men who get abused abused and women who abuse men and boys and in particularly narcissistic abuse towards men in particular so anything I say is um, allegedly it's not based on actual facts and it's all for entertainment entertainment or educational purposes only so yeah do your own research and um yeah it's just entertainment it's only alleged stuff and we're just looking into um what could happen if you are in an abusive relationship and we want to talk about it more we want to spread awareness more and it needs to happen so sit back grab yourself a drink um so yeah so yeah johnny depp um, and the amber heard case i've been watching clips watching the showdown the court case and it's a, a very serious matter even though um you know it part of it is it's almost like a circus now the thing is with the johnny depp and amber herb case these people are just one set of people they're high profile people johnny depp most certainly is he is a known actor he's been in multiple movies much loved actor edward scissorhands pirates of the caribbean so many films and he is an entertainer he's a performer he's an actor and he's dated so many women over the years he's a dad and all of that jazz and this is just one person so imagine all the other men in the world that are experiencing something like this through a mother, through a girlfriend, through a friend, through a co-worker, whatever the case may, may be, because narcissistic abuse is everywhere and Amber Heard is a, is a, is a narcissist, allegedly. Um, now I know in the court case, Dr. Curry, or whatever her name is, has diagnosed her with uh, borderline personality disorder, histrionic, and all of that. 
But what I have picked up on stuff like this is that women somehow in the system, in the brainwashing and in the, manipul in the manipulation of the system itself, even though these people are professionals, and they are, and um, the thing is, I have noticed that they don't want to diagnose, they don't often because they do diagnose women as narcissists and so, so, psychopaths and sociopaths as well. Yes, but nowhere near as n enough as they should because um, the same thing happened in like the D Jodie Arias case. They didn't diagnose her with narcissistic personality disorder. Um, I think they, they said borderline to her as well and something else. I, don't, I can't remember, but I have to go back and have a look. But Amber Heard is a bona fide, typical narcissistic female woman. Um, narcissistic women are pure evil, fully-fledged narcissistic women with fully-fledged narcissistic personalities or sociopaths or psychopathic women um a pure evil and there's something i'm gonna say right now they want you dead they want you emotionally dead they want you psychologically dead and in some cases they want you physically dead to the point that if they could they would would literally kill you and some do some some murderers and they kill um they want to abuse you they're extremely jealous these types of women they're jealous of you they're jealous of other women they're jealous of men they hate everybody they want to be the center of attention and they come across to the outside world although there's so much evidence i've seen of amber as completely coming across as not a nice person in interviews but anyway you can look at that up yourself and do your own research if you want to um but the psychology there is these women are as the saying goes it's their way or the highway unless you go along with these types of women you will get railroaded, slung under the bus, smeared. These women are pathological liars. They're envious to the core. They're jealous to the core. Now, a lot of people be sitting there thinking, why the hell are these women, these people, jealous of me or of whoever? Because, you know, they could be pretty or attractive or have a way about them that comes across as, you know, like they've got everything. But the thing is, these women are practically born that way. They're born with envy, jealousy and rage. Now, narcissistic psychopathic women such as, allegedly, Amber Heard's, Jodie Arias and those types of women um, have a force inside them which is pure rage. Now, allegedly, um, Amber Heard's own dad was abusive to Amber's mother. She said this herself, allegedly. Look it up. And she said something along the lines of she thought that 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 she said something like the mom and dad really loved each other, even though he beat the shit out of the mom all the time, and she probably witnessed it. And she was probably uh, the golden child of the other siblings, sisters, because he was always treating her like the son he never had so this is like a big sort of red flag already that she believes even though i know for a fact well not for a fact allegedly that she would know that hitting somebody 
and abusing somebody, breaking them down, gaslighting them, uh, uh, and all of that that goes with abuse it is wrong. She knows that's wrong. But there's she, people like her have, you can see it all over her face, are full of rage. Narcissistic women are pathological liars. They are, they lie for supply, to get supply. They want attention. So when you first meet or you first interact with a narcissistic woman or some of your mothers that could, could be not narcissistic mothers or other family members or friends or co-workers, these women are lovely they're funny i'm talking about the beginning when you first meet them they're lovely they're, they can be funny hilarious as people would call a narcissistic man charming narcissistic women are charming but their sort of charm is more through this slight innocence, light-heartedness, flirtatious and seductiveness and narcissistic women have the narcissistic, you might not notice it at the beginning because you're not looking for all that shit, you just want a genu genuine quick connection if you're trying to date a woman. Um, but they have a narcissistic stare and a smirk and a grin. Amber Heard's got it. And yes, I am going to say Meghan Markle is another narcissistic woman. Not People aren't going to agree, but she is. And Harry, Prince Harry has been zapped. Narcissistic women hyp hypnotise. They use hypnosis on um, men, sensitive men, genuine men, men like Johnny Depp, because Johnny Depp is like an empath, you can see it through and through, and so is Harry, now I know him, Prince Harry, some of his, because what happens is everybody has levels of narcissism in them, there's unhealthy and healthy, and these women, they zap these men, they zap men, they hypnotise them, they stare at them in a certain way, they have this grin, this type of grin, and at first it comes across as beautiful, enchanting, and all those kind of words, but really it's like luring, it's almost like they are seducing, and I would go on to say they are seducing and being, they're like predators and they hunt down these men and they want to ruin your lives. If you're a family man as well, they want to ruin your life and your children's lives or your teenagers lives or your young adults like it doesn't matter they what they are like secret low-key underneath the smiles and the flat fluttery eyelashes uh, and the seduction and the grooming it is a type of grooming it's a form of emotional and psychological rape underneath the facade that they put on their mask that they wear and all that sexual chemistry you think you have with, with these women it's all bullshit but what they are doing is these women are pathological liars they're extremely jealous they're extremely clingy they, they might not seem at first but they are as johnny said little tidbits tit tidbits whatever it's called nuggets of information you have got to listen to these little hints and listen to your intuition 
and cut the whole thing off when you notice something like that because what will happen is they'll lure you in they'll groom you they'll seduce you they'll manipulate you they'll gaslight you they'll triangulate you and eventually they'll put you down they'll gaslight you, gaslight you even more and they'll push you to the point of where you will be triggered to possibly not always but possibly have a thing called reactive abuse that's why johnny depp was kicking or slamming the the um kitchen cabinets because these women push you to the point where they want you to react and they want to provoke a reaction because that is their drugs that is their supply to to provoke a reaction that's what all narcissists do like male or me, female but today i'm talking more about females abusing men and boys because you know there's narcissistic mothers or aunties or a caregiver supposedly and you know men get abused men get raped men get emotionally and psychologically abused tore down and the expecta expectation of a man to be a certain way or whatever it's it's too much and it needs to stop and we need to talk about it more so these women what they'll do is they'll flirt as humans we're all if we're going on dates we all flirt but it's a natural type of flirting and there's charm within men and women and there's jokes and all of that but there's a way these women behave there's a way these women use body language, micro mannerisms, a type of hypnosis, a type of grooming, a type of seduction. And they're extremely possessive, these women. And if you aren't at first, it won't be like this, but eventually when it is like it at the beginning but you won't know it if you're not in a if you don't if you're not aware of narcissistic abuse and how these women operate but what will happen is is these women will go from too good to good too good to be true to hell hell on earth and you'll be trapped isolated with this woman woman going round in circles she'll be talking word salad triangulating you with other friends other men other women other people and she wants to bring you down to her level how she feels on the inside and you'll see the ugly side coming out like how amber's behaving now And this is just one person in the public on social media. These are just one set of people. So imagine all the other people this is happening to. And it's horrifying and it's scary that there are young boys, teenagers, men, grown men. Johnny's like in his 50s. I don't know how old. And it it's happening to so many men and we need to address this because it is a huge huge pro problem um so what i am saying is is that if you're in a relationship or you're dating women and you notice these red flags of jealousy possessiveness they start they're pathologically lying twisting 
gaslighting. Because she, she was gaslighting, she gaslit him. When she was like, I didn't punch you. I just hit you and calling him a baby, that's gaslighting. She, she basically, it's the same thing. If you hit someone and you, you hit, you punch, whichever way around you do it, it doesn't matter whether it's a hit, a punch, a slap, a shove, a push. That is a physical form of abuse. And then there's, there's the psychological abuse. There's sh shitting on the bed. And God knows what else. Now, nobody's an angel here, but this is point blank obvious that she's like a nar narcissist. And she wants, she wants him dead. She wants to kill him. She's already killed him emotionally and psychologically. And and like it's like Rue, it's like obliterating the whole family. It's not just him. It's his whole entire family that has to suffer. Because one person can cause that, that much. This is just one person that can cause that much destruction, and her and her word salad, her behaviour in the courtroom is un. She needs to be taken away. She needs serious help, and he needs to heal and just start building his life again from scratch because that's how you feel when you're being abused by a narcissist by a narcissistic woman let me know in the comments what, what experiences you've had similar to what johnny depp's been talking about um because these women are relentless she even put a restraining order on him and broke that order they have no boundary recognition everything you are a possession you might not think, think it at first because you're going to be falling in love with these types of women don't do it the red flags are there i'm telling you these women are highly possessive as well you are you to these types of women you belong to them everything you own is theirs everything they look at this is how they think everything they touch everything they look at they think it's theirs they think they can use and abuse good men and they think they can your your property is theirs. If they walk into a shop and they look at it, it's theirs. Anything that anybody out there, they're, they're jealous of their own friends, even though they pretend that they've got friends. Their friends are their flying monkeys and enablers. So whoever is Amber Heard's friends are also narcissistic or flying monkeys, enablers because it's just not right her behavior is completely dilute she's delusional narcissistic women live in a world they're like zombies they're like robots and the mirroring she's mirroring what he's wearing and she's mirroring what he's been saying narcissistic women love bomb at the beginning just like how nar narcissists me men do but there's a way that they do it and i can't even explain it don't fall for it um it's so difficult though when because not nar narcissistic women so johnny depp's mom would have been a narcissist herself and i feel like johnny depp's an empath amber heard heard's a narcissist um and the mirroring they do a lot of mirroring at the beginning of the relationship and she's mirroring him now because this is part of the trauma bond and they have no identity of themselves for of themselves that's why they project and they put you down and they smear you don't allow it to happen and don't react and don't respond to their motherfucking leeching jezebel spirit bullshit because what they do is she's mirroring what he's wearing with her stupid suits johnny depp is one of the most stylish per she was like oh yeah why would your 
want you when you've got no style she's basically put her foot in it she's gone basically she knows he's one of the most stylish humans on the planet earth he's got his own style he's so stylish and handsome and naturally funny and these people these narcissistic women are like robots they're like zombies they have no style of their own so they mirror and copy everybody else's style i call it mirroring they mirror she's been mirroring his style she's been mirroring what he's said what she's done to him so that's another red flag if they start mirroring you now everybody naturally does that to a certain level but to these people do it they're relentless they do it to the extreme level like every time he wears a certain type of suit she's got it on the next day because he's a good looking guy and he's got style and she's got none so they don't have any emotions they don't have narcissistic women don't have any higher emotions so they that's why they are a lot of them go into acting and they they but they're acting their whole entire life is one big performance she's such a performance um so what they do is they're acting what they do is they're extracting they watch how other people act and behave to do their fake crocodile tears that's what narcissistic women do they play victim they pretend that they're the hero and the victim um everybody else is a problem they've got low self-esteem but they pretend that they're fucking god's gift and they're not that ugly as sin as well they might look attractive or pretty or whatever you want to call it on the surface but underneath when the, the mask starts cracking she's she's ugly as hell there's like the soul is dead that's why they extract from you or other people like she was mirroring johnny and then she was mirroring dr curry with her glasses and her stupid hair she was trying to and you can't mirror somebody that does it naturally themselves Not johnny depp is naturally funny and he has style so you can't do you can't mirror that although they think that they can they can't it, it's you can see through it when you see it it's like plain you can see it the 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 bullshit and the way she waffles on like word salad nothing what she says makes sense it's unreal and then he you know the, the reactive abuse the, the trauma bond mirroring does the trauma bond as well as other things i'll leave it there i think this video has gone on for like ages so yeah, but my point is these women, if you sit back and watch and pay attention and listen to how they're talking and their body language and you're out on a date with them or you're out around, looking around the shops or around the park or at the beach or whatever you're doing, kicking back with these women, trying to have fun, trying to, you notice what they're saying about other people as well. They're always slagging off other people. They're always got, they love gossip. Narcissistic women love to go gossip. Don't put up with it. Don't listen to them. Just walk away. Don't react. Don't respond. Don't allow them to provoke a react. It's not easy because they isolate you. They're dangerous people. They want you, they want you dead. They want you to commit suicide. That's the other thing narcissistic women do. They want you to kill, kill yourself because they hate. They're jealous. They're full of rage and jealousy, these women. And they've got no personality and no style of their own. That's why they're mirroring. That's why she's mirrored Johnny Depp. And that's why she's mirrored another, an attractive Dr. Curry and started wearing glasses like Johnny and like Dr. Curry. It's so obvious. And what they do is they extract, they, they watch other films and they study you and they study 
everything about you and they start mirroring you so that you think you're falling in love with the idol in the idealization stage in the mirroring stage in the love bombing stage you think you've met your fucking soulmate but really you've met a hag from hell you've met the jezebel spirit so you've got to look up on these red flags and just um breathe and don't allow these women to provoke you whether you're a man that's dating a woman or your mother's like this or another family member or a friend or a co-worker or whether you're even a woman that's being abused by another woman or a man being abused by a woman or a young adult teenager or a child pick up on these red flags these narcissistic women a narcissistic man um, but with, I, I really want to raise awareness of boys and men who get abused and how insidious and how covert and how fake these women are and how they they get away with it because abusive women there's just as many as as abusive women and uh, as there are men in the world and they do it in such a way because people need to start diagnosing them more women narcissistic women and psychopathic women are so dangerous and sociopathic women and they need to be called out on their bullshit and they need to be dealt with and they need to be sent to prison or whatever the case may be they need to be held accountable for their um behavior they can't get away with it and we have to speak up and speak up if you are going through the situation because what they want to do is they want to isolate you they want to put you into a corner they want to provoke a reaction and you can't allow that to happen. You have to, don't go get into circular word salad. Don't allow these women to talk word salad and get you into circular conversations or arguments or raging, hag, screaming things that they do. Don't say, don't tell them what you're going to do. Just, just leave and get your evidence. So if, they shit on your bed take a fucking photograph of that they shouldn't be allowed to get away and try and blame it on the teacup yorkshire terriers i've got a teacup yorkshire terrier her poo is the size of a fucking cashew nut right i'll leave it there love you and leave you and take it easy and leave comments with your experience and if you're going through something like this then speak to somebody and get away from these psychotic delusional women get away from them don't tell them that oh i need a break just tell them no and and leave and, and get away from them because it's do yourself a favor and tell tell one of your mates or somebody that can help you somebody you know you can trust tell someone a professional a friend a doctor anyone that you think you can trust and and just get away from these covert fake individuals and uh, look after yourself